Hi friends, uh, the second video is concerned with the CET 2020 return test uh, that all the students of Karnataka would be facing in the upcoming examination scheduled on April 22nd and 23rd. So uh, we will be discussing about what would be the duration of paper and uh, what are the things that you should be remembering about. Already you know about that uh, the papers to be written on two days, you have the first paper as biology. So let us go to the details of this. See the syllabus of uh, the CET examination is based on the first and second PUC uh, syllabus prepared by the pre-university education that is NCRT textbook is what we have adopted in the pre-university education of Karnataka state. So all the questions would be from within these uh, textbooks. So the duration of the question paper and OMR answer sheets we can discuss about. The common entrance test will be conducted in on two days in four different sessions for four subjects. On the first day there is biology and mathematics subjects in two sessions and on the next day that is the second day it would be physics and chemistry subjects in two sections. Each paper or subject will have 60 marks each with a duration of 80 minutes. Each question paper will be having multiple choice questions, objective type. The question paper in each subject will have different versions. So last time it was 16 versions. Each room will be having 16 students and there would be 16 versions of question papers like A1, A2, A3, A4, B1, B2, B3, B4, still D1, D2, D3, D4. So each question will carry one mark. So the candidate is expected to attempt all the questions in order to obtain maximum marks. There is no choice of questions. There will be no negative evaluation or negative marks if the student commits a mistake or it is an incorrect answer or they don't answer it. So it would be uh, or in case the student marks multiple answers for the same question, they would all be considered as zero marks and there won't be any negative marks. So I suggest to most of the students you utilize this option and try to uh, solve all the questions and make it as the nearest question that you are nearest choice which you think has the answer to be marked. The version code of the question paper will be boldly printed on the facing sheet of the question paper. The version code of the question papers given to a student may be different or may, the, may be the same for different sessions. So OMR sheets are used as answer sheets. So they are they you have to mark the uh, OMR sheets. The need for replica so that the student can take up. So there is a replica also below the main OMR sheet. So whenever you are marking the answer in the OMR sheet, it should be a final answer because the OMR scanner is very sensitive to the markings. Any uh, accidental markings on other choices would also be considered as an answer so you should be very careful when you are marking it on the top of the OMR sheets the candidates should fill up the information such as the name CET number version code and serial number of the question booklet the bottom portion of the OMR sheet is meant for marking the answers fixing the signature of the room invigilator and candidates and all uh, and also for the left hand thumb impression of the candidate. The space meant for the subject would have been pre-marked. The square blocks in each item would be filled by the candidate in capital letters and numbers. So the circles corresponding to the letters or numbers are meant to be completely shaded using blue or black ink ballpoint only. So a specimen of the OMR answer sheet will be hosted on the KEA website. So the students can take the specimen sheet, OMR answer sheet, download it and you can be familiar with the OMR sheet. So take four to five copies of this and practice them at home. So it makes you very familiar with the sheet before you take up the CET examination and shading also has to be very accurate uh, so that it can be the same during the actual conduct of the CET examination. So the OMR answer sheet comprises of two sheets. The upper sheet is used for marking correct answers and later scanning and evaluation. And the lower sheet will be returned to the candidates after the completion of each uh, session of the test. So they detach the main sheet and give the lower sheet, which is a, a photo or carbon copy of the main sheet. So the, the main reason for asking the students to use ballpoint pen is it creates a pressure on the bottom sheet of the 
corresponding OMR sheet and as a result of it it would the answers would be rightly uh, marked in the uh, carbon copy of the OMR sheets so please retain this sheet and do not lose it till the end of your results are announced and if you have to challenge it this is an evidence for what you have marked and you can challenge uh, the CET examination board uh, in case of discrepancy so this is one way of making accountability and transparency in the CET examination so these are things that you should remember think before you ink so you have to darken a circle there is no way you can erase or remove it uh, so your decision about a correct answer should be final and then you should mark it so you cannot use marker or white fluid to hide the shading region and you will not be supplied with uh, more than one OMR sheet. If you spoil a sheet or attempt to rub, rub off the shading done on a circle, you may ruin your opportunities of scoring marks. If two circles are shaded in a row and even one of the circle is partially rubbed off, the scanner will take it as a multiple attempt. Darken only one circle for each method as shown against the correct method. So you can now see the correct method of marking. So this is the correct method of marking. See the answer is 3 and they have completely shaded complete circle without any dots in between. So if you use tick tick marks this is wrong or if you use cross mark the scanner won't recognize you won't pick the scoring marks. In this third uh, variety they have made only a circle at the center. Most of the students I see they are doing it. Our use of line mark is also wrong. So partially or half filled circle or marking outside the circle these are all correct wrong methods of shading marking more than one method is also a wrong method of uh, shading this candidate should preserve the CET 2020 OMR answer sheet replicas for a minimum period of one year from obtain from the date of obtaining the admission order in case of any discrepancy or cross checking so it is required so a minimum period of one year they expect you to maintain this CET 2020 OMR answer sheet replica you shouldn't be losing it even after admission so it should be a duration for one year so important precautions while you are uh, writing or shading top portion you have to uh, so in all the for initial 10 minutes is meant for the candidates to write or shade the particulars such as name CET number version code and serial number of the question booklet on the OMR answer sheet OMR answer sheet you should not write or shade uh, the correct CET number and version code on the answer sheet will not be scanned. So if you do not write or shade the correct CET number, so it will not be scanned and such candidates will not be assigned any rank. So the entries pertaining to name, CET number and question booklet version code are very very crucial. So don't forget about it. The candidates will have to mark correct on the optical mark reader answer sheet which will be supplied at the beginning of each session of the test each question will have only one correct answer the candidate shall mark the correct answer by completely shading only one circle against a question number using a blue or black ink ballpoint pen i have already told you why you require blue or black ink ballpoint pen the next 70 min uh, minutes you have to remember it's a uh, uh, important uh, minutes so after the initial 10 minutes 70 minutes will be given to candidate for shading the answers on the bottom portion of the OMR answer sheet. On the bottom portion there will be 60 rows corresponding to 60 questions. Against each question number 4 circles will be provided. So the candidates are required to shade only one circle corresponding to the correct answer. The scanner is very sensitive OMR scanner to black and blue ink shades that even a slight residual ink mark or unintended ink dot within a circle will be taken by it as filled and you will be losing marks. So they have to be very careful and take precaution while you are shading the circles on the bottom paper. At the end of paper for each session, the, the candidates are, have to fix their left hand thumb, pressure, thumb impression in the space provided on the bottom portion of the OMR answer sheet of the upper with the ink pad provided by the room invigilator. After completion of each session of the test, they need not affix the thumb impression on the lower sheet. Uh, the replica of the OMR answer sheet they need not have to fix their thumb impression only on the main sheet if it is done that is sub uh, that is sufficient so the invigilators will detach the lower sheet from the upper sheet by perforations and hand over the lower sheet to the candidates 
and candidates are allowed to carry only the lower sheets or the carbon copy of the OMR answer sheet. The upper uh, sheet of OMR will be retained by the uh, examiner. So only if left hand thumb impression is uh, applied on the OMR answer sheet, it will be scanned and the results of such candidates will be published. The OMR answer sheets who have not affixed their left hand thumb impression will not be scanned and also the results of such candidates will not be published. So thank you, this is what is the examination uh, CT written uh, part of it that you should be very well versed with. So if you have enjoyed watching this video and have learned, so kindly share it with your friends and uh, colleagues. Thank you.